Yeah, so we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> Sex, drugs and rock and roll. Music is all it takes to get us to the heights of ecstasy. Why is music extra important for the HSP? Music fuels the soul. Music is life. If you're a highly sensitive person who is easily overstimulated and exhausted, you might recognize this need to escape in music. Music is my refuge. There's something magical about the vibrations that find harmony with your body. We can connect with good vibrations and it can elevate us into ecstasy. When I allow myself to get distracted for a few days without making the time to listen to my favorite music, I will suddenly feel lost and empty and disconnected from the world. Of course, music can have a powerful impact on anyone. But because HSPs tend to feel things on a deeper level, we also process music on an even deeper level. Which is one of the pros of having this trait. And there have been studies that scientifically reflect this based on brain activity. Of course, the kind of music that you listen to will play a role in the effect that the music has on you. For me, listening to music that I can't have an appreciation for sort of has the opposite effect of a good song. Because it can be so frustrating sometimes when you're listening to music that just irks your body and sucks the meaning out of life. It just feels like such a waste of my time. I don't know, it just gets me in a bad mood. Bad music is just sad. So what role does music play in your life? And how can you use it to your advantage? If it's music you detest, it might result in a headache. But when it's your favorite music, you can experience those chills all over your body. And you might even feel like you're entering another level of consciousness. I know you know what I'm talking about. And then there's the kind of music that has a soothing effect and can lull us to sleep. The influence of music on our physical state makes sense when you take into account that the beats per minute of a song can synchronize with our heart rate and also have an influence on our brain waves. So of course you can use this to your advantage by using slow music to help you calm down and focus on studying or when you're trying to get ready for sleep. An unexpected benefit of music is that it can make us feel less alone. That's because of its impact on the empathy part of our brain. Listening to music that affects us deeply can make us feel more connected to others, even when we're all alone. Music is also a great way to relieve stress because of the endorphins that get released. And it can offer emotional comfort when you're having a really bad day. It can even be an escape. Through music, you can enter into another world. And often music is a great tool to help you be fully present in the moment and forget about anything else that's going on in your life. But before you race out to your next concert to elevate your spirits in ecstasy, here are some tips and warnings about live music for the HSP. When I went to a Tool concert, one of my favorite bands, I had front row seats and I was ready to rock all night. But after just a few songs, I already felt like I couldn't handle anymore. I think that the emotion of being at my favorite band combined with the volume and intensity of the music was wearing me down and I just needed a break. Luckily, I had my earplugs and I would use them during my least favorite song so that I would limit the stimulation I would get. But I also decided to step back for a moment and take it all in from afar by walking all the way to the back of the arena. It's a lot to handle when the bass is blasting straight into your ears for hours on end. But stepping to the back for a bit and wearing my earplugs helped me to catch a break so that I could come back and enjoy my favorite songs even more. Sometimes I wish they would eliminate the opening act so that I could preserve my energy for the main act. A dear friend of mine once pointed out how perplexed he was that as a highly sensitive person, I like to blast my rock music very loudly. I also had this discussion with an HSP friend. Let's take a quick look at her take on it. How the hell do we explain being highly sensitive and listening to loud rock music? <laughs> well, to me, other people probably don't hear, but there's a beautiful melody line in it. There's lots of um, harmonies. And I think because it's so complex, it makes it interesting. And just the really loud music, it's, it's, it's almost like a, like white noise, black noise. I don't know mm -hmm. what they call that. It's like a constant, noise that's there that's really loud soothing, it's, soothing. Yeah. it's very soothing it's very weird to describe but yeah 
<laughs> it's a constant sound of these guitars and the and the really hard drum beats and everything. It's I think that would be my explanation. <laughs> I think I always when I I now here you hardly have any concerts, but back in the days I would be in the back. Mm -hmm. Just have a better overview over the crowd and maybe sound wise as well. I mm -hmm. always preferred to be in the back as well. Music can also be a helpful tool in taking a break from small talk. Sometimes your mind just needs a little bit of a break from small talk, but when you can't physically get away, like on a road trip, perhaps you can just ask for a couple of minutes of music time without conversation. This can be a great quick little booster. Of course, music isn't always pleasant or desired. Often the music at a restaurant will be too loud or distracting when you're just trying to have some nice conversation. Don't be afraid to ask the establishment to lower the volume or change the music to a more subtle mood. In my experience, they're actually quite accommodating. And if you're struggling with the music, chances are someone else is probably as well. If we don't start speaking up, then there will never be universal awareness. And our delicate HSP needs will keep being placed on the back burner. After you're done watching this video, Type in your all-time favorite song and listen to it just a little bit louder than you normally would. Then close your eyes or do what you need to do to let it absorb you completely. Life's too short for bad music. Make time for your favorite music. Let me know in the comments what music means to you. And I'll see you next time. Ayo! Yeah, needs a little bit of tuning. This can really be a great reboot. Reboot. I got chills, they're multiplying. Level. Deeper level, deeper level, deeper level, deeper level, deeper level, deep, 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 blah, blah.